so 37 times 4 would be uh, 148 so I need to, I have 148 farmers which means that I need to create housing on the spot for 148 people which means big houses that's gonna be lovely uh, but anyways hi everyone I'm sarcastic and welcome back to colony survival uh, part whatever probably 35 34 or something I don't know why I'm talking in this voice I, it was just my doing math voice I'm gonna stop it now uh, anyways yeah welcome back to colony survival uh, Oh, I've completed some research. Very nice. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start building the... No, I don't want that. I'm going to start building the, uh, the the houses for my farmers over there. So I can start getting rid of some of the... the yeah, give me that. So I can start getting rid of some of the beds here. You know, make this... So I can, you know, eventually make this... This would be the last area that I have to complete. In, in its entirety. I basically just got to shave down the first layer here. And fill the rest of it with grass, like, oh, you know, all the rest of it. Make it variable for anything that I want to do. And it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be great. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be like it's been dipped in gold. Okay, but if I want to make housing for... Uh, 148 farmers. Oh, crap. I forgot to start the timer. Sorry, very sorry about that. I caught up in the math. Uh, just give me a second here, and uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. If I'm going to create housing for 148 people, then uh, I'm going to need to do some architectural planning for this big old square right here. But if I can get 148 beds... Uh, I have a lot of spare beds, so getting 148 of them won't be the problem. It'll be making a house design that's big enough yet um you know what I mean yet, you know uh, that can be within the confines of this that'll allow me to house all my farmers that I need that'll be the problem and plus any more if I have to extend farming over to this one so that, that's gonna be the problem here but if I were to make uh, let, let let's just say here that I were to make okay there we go if I were to make because uh, I want to make this look nice and not only do I if I want to just put houses in here or the beds I could do that but I want to make it look nice so if I were to go with the standard plan of me setting down what would be the cobblestone you know, paths right here. At least like that. Then I would have to make a colonist. I, it would be in a four-section thing with in-betweens being like that. Yeah, that could be what comes together then. Yeah, yeah. This could act, this could work. I can make this work. So er, ergo. If I were to make it a 3x3 three three path, I might shorten it down to a 1 when it gets closer to the houses, but a 3x3 three three path going all the way through, you know, interconnecting with each of these down to there, 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 you know, across from each other and all the way down, I would have roughly area spaces of, as you can see, that by that in each area to make houses. In a square like that, I could do that. They'd have to be, uh, they'd have to be houses with either a lot of beds or uh, a lot of smaller ones, but I could do it. I'd probably, I'll probably cut this down to one by one path uh, once I get, w once I get the specifics of it, so I can make the houses just a, uh, that much bigger. But for now, I need to make it a three by three. I love I, I love architectural planning in games like these. It's so much fun. It'd be nicer though if the devs were able to get that uh, blueprint uh, development type thing that they were working on done. That'd be so amazing because then I wouldn't have to build each individual house separately. I could just build them all at once, and it would it would be amazing. I could just have my construction workers do it, and I can just watch the process unfold. 
Oh, it would be a lovely and amazing to see. So I'm doing what I'm doing right now is um the reason why I'm putting like the God dang it, stop it. Stop it. The reason why I'm putting these right here is sort of what I'm what I was doing with uh you know the garden over here. I was putting an outer an outer thing. You know, so sort of like a walkway out for them. And since these guys already have their you know, three walls thing, it won't intervene with anything that's happening uh, within since I'm not making the walls any bigger. Which, you know, is pretty nice. I'm gonna be doing... Oh, why, did I, why did I fall through? Oh, okay. Also, I'm actually pretty... In, uh, I, I think after I'm finished with one of the series that I'm doing now, like uh, Subnautica, if I get you know bored with it, or if I find that there's no more real story elements to do, work on. Um, I'm going to probably start either Dead Space 2 or Seven Days to Die, because those are those two games that I'm really interested in playing. Do I? Okay, I do have the stonemasons. That's great. Uh, Seven Days to Die, I've been playing a lot on my Xbox. And I'm not going to lie, I've been pretty good at it. There's some things, actually there's a few things about the game that I don't agree with, uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty good at the game relatively wise. Like, I'll die a few times, but so far, my defenses, I'm on day, what was it, 62 of that game by myself, solo playing, but on a private server in case my friends want to join. I have so far been able to hold off every uh, single seventh night with Without any, without any relatively pro relative problem, big problem, ever since the, like, first seventh night, which, where I didn't have all my defenses up. That was the only problem. But, uh, other than that, I've been doing great in it. Like, I went to the, my main base at the farmhouse, because I used the nav, uh, navsgen map, you know, the, the, pretty much the original one, which... I, I like it because I random gen worlds they ew, they can be far and wide in between what their biomes are and I don't I don't like that I like the compactness of the original map and it's going to be nighttime so I'll see you in the morning it will give me more time to think of this so I'll see you then all right it's morning as it's, if I could speak I was going to say as it's morning again. I was noticing last night as, um, you know, my guards were fighting the monsters, they were getting a little bit more low on ammo than I would feel comfortable with, so I was spending the time, you know, increasing the amount of which they use from 1,000 to 2,500. But, you know, that should be enough to keep them going for a long time. I don't expect, the mo uh, you know, any of the monsters, zombies, whatever you want to call them, to get through, but uh, I just want to make doubly sure. I'm actually... It kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not expecting, but, um, and maybe it is expecting. I'm expecting to have to put more guards down there, you know, in the future to keep them, keep the peace there. But I was also working in the later night. This is a big area, by the way. Like, I, I might not have enough co gray cobblestone for this. Like, it, it could get a little sketchy. I like the great cobblestone. It's like the favorite, my pretty much my favorite color here because it's the only one that shows any actual color. Like the black, just the blue looks like the black unless it's in the right lighting, and the gray just looks like the uh, uh, the the brown looks like the gray unless it's in the right lighting. It's a, a little bit more variety in the cobblestone colors. It'd be great. Like a red. Wait, do they have a red cobblestone? I feel like they have a red cobblestone. Do we have a red cobblestone? No, we have red bricks. That's what it was. Okay. God, I could have sworn I remember a red cobblestone when I played this the first time. Don't know why. Just do. But yeah, I'm laying the cobblestone out. I think I'll make this a... Um... What was I going to make it? A... Uh, you know, this outer one will be a two... You know, two by two path, or I guess whatever you want to call it. It'll be a two. It'll be it'll, it'll be a two path, so the colonists can walk. 
I know the colonists aren't going to walk. I just want to make it look nice. They're, they're not programmed for uh, leisure activities. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. I'd, I'd love to see the colonists doing leisure activities. I'd love that implemented in the game. You know, leisure activities like... Oh, yeah. Make them tennis courts. Or golf or basketball or baseball or football. Soccer or football. I guess since this is a Dutch... Yeah, this is a Dutch game, isn't it? Where's the bricks? It's a Dutch game after all. So, football. Uh, this is soccer. Ameri uh, football Americano. Eh? Eh? <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see a leisure uh, system put in the game. Kind of like uh, what Oxygen Not Included did with theirs, only a little bit, a little bit better and a lot less more, uh, a, a lot less straining to have to do. Colony survival, one jute box is 960 power, and that's way, way too much power for anything. Like, seriously, 960? That's an absurd amount of power that you need for one jute box to make a colonist happy. I mean, or duplicates happy. Happy. Colonists is this game. This is way, way too much. Uh, but what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, colon. Uh, Seven days to die. Um, but yeah, I, I. But if I play through it on the on you know the computer, I have some big plans, and all I might not be able to go through with them, but I will sure uh, try. Right, gotta keep this kid friendly. Right, forget about that one. I, I'll I'll try my darndest because what I want to do is, since I normally make my base in the farmhouse, I want to make it in the mountains. You know, in a mountain, whether it be a mountain in the in the fire biome or the snow biome, I'd rather it be the fire biome because that place, the snow biome, is just it is just god awful. Or maybe the snow biome would be better. I honestly don't know. It it's it's quite complicated, honestly. All right, so but that would be. I was gonna make a two by two walkway on the outside perimeter. That would be this, and then it would go to. Oh, actually, that looks kind of nice. That, that that looks kind of nice. Let's make that like a dis and debt and a dis and a debt. That would be that that would be lovely to look at. I'll plant some trees here too. Oh, this is gonna be great looking. This is. This is gonna be fantabulous. Fantabulous, I see. It's gonna be fantabulous. Just you wait and see. I'm gonna make it look real nice. You know, honestly, I might just. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I mean, give me, give me the construction. I am real bored of doing that. Uh, so dig one in. Do 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 to there. Yes. Okay, so that'll do that one. I it, it kind of sucks because I can't have intercrossing construction paths, so I'm gonna have to do these one area pretty much at a time. Uh, that's the one. Take that out and go for this one next. Hopefully, I did these all in the middle. I'm really hoping I did. I don't wanna have a kerfuffle on my hands. So just make sure, yep, those are all good. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. I'm going to be real proud of this one. Alright, so construction jobs, I'll probably put... Oh, fooge. I've got plenty of unsupervised people. I'll put as many as I... Uh, Darren, please on them. You know... I can put as many people on these as I want because I still have 18 left. Oh my god, I still have 18 left. Well, I might as well put more on them just so I can get it done faster, you know? What would be the point otherwise if not to get it done fast? As Sonic always says, gotta go fast. And I hate myself for saying that right now. Really, really do. But as the sun sets on the second day, because that's what I usually keep these videos at, two day, two colonist days, I'll be having the end of this episode here. So if you liked what you saw, 
which I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, maybe hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you can see when I post. And don't forget to leave a like and comment about what games I can play in the future, as well as what I can do to improve games that I'm already playing. Because I really appreciate it, and it really, it really helps me improve the quality of the videos that I make. Uh, other than me just having to figure things out by myself. Uh, but, until the next video, goodbye everyone.